My name is Eric Cortina and Bar Dominios are my business. Today, we're over at Leroy's. As you guys know, we had to put a new foundation on top of this old foundation. So let me go show you what we did. So what we ended up having to do is we ended up having to put a lot of dowels. And uh, let me show you over here. So that's the existing slab. So that's the existing existing that's the old slab right there and so we ended up having to put a lot of dowels into the slab that are epoxy in so you can see the epoxy uh, so these dowels these are number five and of course the engineer called for that that's how we're going to attach the uh, old slab to the new slab as you can see the beam runs straight through We have all the plumbing in. See right there where the drop is? That's a shower. So the interior beams, they're 14 inches. We ended up bringing the, uh, the new slab 14 inches above the old slab. Like I was saying, this is, uh, I'm standing on top of the old slab. We brought it up 14 inches. And the reason we brought it up, we actually could have poured right over the uh, old slab except we needed enough room to be able to run all the plumbing so over here you can see this is where the uh where the piers are going to go a lot of rebar and of course here's your perimeter beams those go way down into the uh, undisturbed ground and also this interior beam which is where the uh where the old slab, this is the old slab, this is the new slab, where they both meet, this beam also goes all the way down to the ground. You can see down there, there's uh, bricks that, uh, the, uh, that we used to lift the rebar. So these perimeter beams, they're about four feet deep. You can also see here all the, uh, all the dowels that we have to install right there. So we drilled, like I, like I was saying earlier, we had to drill into the old slab and uh, install dowels, rebar dowels with, with a epoxy. And sometimes, just sometimes, your drill bit gets stuck in there. <laughs> so I guess you just leave it in there. <laughs> you see this, Manny? They got the drill bit stuck in there. The drill bit stuck in there? Yeah. It there? It just lifted. Kind of like on the trailer, huh? Yeah. It had the drill bit stuck to the bottom and yeah. lifted there. Right here where I'm standing, this is going to be well, right there where Manny's standing. That's going to be a porch right there. The house is going to end right here, right over that beam. And as you can see, these are double beams. We have a beam uh, where the porch and the house meet, and then we have another one right inside of that. So a lot of rebar and like i said a lot of dowels we need to make sure that these two slabs do not shift at different rates we need to make them all one so that's what the dowels are for as you can see your savings come in right there that being only a 14 inch beam versus having to be two foot beams and uh, also you can see the spacing on the beams is a lot farther apart on top of that slab than they are once you get off the slab. See that? Like I was saying, the rod busters are here. They're gonna be done today. The next thing we do is install our headers. And the headers, uh, like I was saying, that's uh, we have the main slab and then we have the porches. The headers is the forms that we put to separate uh, the main slab from the porches because there's a, there's a difference in, in uh, elevation so it drops down so you got to put a header there all right so that's the next thing that's going to happen the other thing that happens after that is we're going to do the uh, the uh, water pool and that's when they bring in the water lines for uh, water because all we have right now is water drains so the next thing is the water lines the water pool uh, a lot of plumbers go through the slab. I like going through the slab, but another good option is go through the uh, through the attic. I'm gonna get with Leroy, see which way he wants to do this one, because this is his home after all. And whatever way he wants to go, that's how we're gonna do it. So it really doesn't matter. So Manny's asking me what we use to uh, bring the slab up. So select fill. Uh, as you guys can see back there, there's a ton of sand. You cannot use sand. It doesn't have enough 
clay in it uh, to allow it to pack. So you need to bring in what's called select fill. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> So no, you have to use uh, what's called select fill. When you call a pit uh, to get your, your fill from, you need to specify that you want select fill, okay? So what select fill means is it has been tested and it meets the uh, state requirements for, uh, you know, compression or, you know, packability and uh, PI levels, which is plasticity index and some other things. I, I'm not precisely sure 100% of what it is that it has to meet, but the point is, uh, it's ranked. It's meet yeah, it's it's called select fill. It's it's uh, it's fill that's been selected or has been tested uh, for this purpose. Okay, don't just put any kind of dirt in there. Do not just <laughs> make that mistake. Okay, <laughs> like I said, Leroy has tons of sand here. Sand has very low PI, which actually is too low for to qualify as select fill because it doesn't pack. So, but anyway, so. Don't just put any kind of dirt in there. You need select fill. What's up, Leroy? Hard day. Hard day? Look at this, it's 2 p.m. and you're already home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna say that uh, next week too. It's like, 2 p.m., he's already at home. He's telling me it's a hard day. It was a hard day. What you got there? That's uh, a two by fours for the header? It's two by fours for the headers, yes, sir. Whitewood. Whitewood. They gotta be at least five, six foot long. We gotta drive them all the way down. You heard Leroy specify that he had, uh, he brought headers or two by fours for the header, which are whitewood. Uh, obviously, there's whitewood and yellow pine. You want whitewood. They are lighter, straighter, and whenever you drive the stakes, they don't splinter all up. So, get whitewood. If if you can get it, get white. <laughs> hey, he did you see? Did you, you see the it? hat? Did you see the hat that he got? You don't wear hats anyway, so shut up. I, You're I, like, if I had one like that, yeah, I would. I would. Shut up. You like it? That's nice. I really they have they the had different colors. They had black. I was going to get a black one, but I wait, like Wait, wait, wait. Who had different colors? It was at the, the inverter. Uh, so Le shut up. Leroy doesn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happened is he went to the... So Melissa sent him to the embroidery shop to uh, drop off some, uh, you know, his jacket. Show him. And his shirt. What? <laughs> I really got a pen the other day. I don't want to have one of those. Oh, <laughs> you can yeah. have one of mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's got pens, too. So, anyway, so. So, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you have business cards? I have business Where cards. Where is it? Let me see. Give me one. There's you don't. One. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't, he doesn't carry them with him. So, Melissa sent them to the embroidery shop to get a. You know, to take the jacket and the polo shirts and all that. And while he was there, he liked the cap. So he's like, hey, can I get a cap? And Melissa's like, sure, get a cap, whatever. I don't care. So he got a cap. Well, you know you know who was supposed to go do that? Yeah, me. Who? Exactly. So, see? Don't yeah, be complaining. You off somewhere else. That's don't what. be complaining because he did, he did what you were supposed to oh. do. It. It, <laughs> listen, not only did he do what you were supposed to do, he did it better. Yeah, well, you could have at least got me a shirt and a cap, too, while you are there. <laughs> Call I have me. another polo. I don't you, know if it fits you. How can you right? call hey, me? Well, well, if it fits you, you can have it. Okay. Put it on. No, give it <laughs> no, no, no. Talk about the shirt. Hey, how come you didn't call me like you did from the state store when you were at the... What store? did you want me to ask? What's your favorite color? Yeah, exactly. Oh. He's going to think you're hitting on him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so how's it going, Leroy? We're going to pour next week, finally. I already scheduled it, so we are So, yeah, Manny did that. Manny did that. Yeah, that's, I saw the schedule. That's what we're... Did you? No. Oh. Don't tell me about it. Yeah, so so that's what he was doing he today. He did it to me, obviously. Why not? I'm the customer you're supposed to do it to me. So, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what he was doing today. He was scheduling your job. Uh, I mean, your, your concrete job. And uh, that's what he's going to start doing now. So Manny's going to start scheduling concrete jobs. So if there's any mistakes, sure yeah, he did all the math and then I double checked it. He was wrong, but <laughs> no, he was. It's all right. You know, he made a mistake. Nothing wrong with that. You don't ever make mistakes, right? Yeah, he was he was off by 0.2 yards. He's like, how much is that? <laughs> hey, you take your nap today, Leroy? Not yet. At work? 
Hey, I'm telling you, you need what is a beanie with one of those. Those will be. Think you fit in one of these? <laughs> so we are having beanies made. Oh, hey, yeah. Beanies. Yeah, you're not getting one of those. You don't wear beanies anyway. Yeah, the entire month, the entire, the entire month of July, I never saw you wear one. <laughs> <laughs> or August. You know. <laughs> <laughs> only see you wear it for like maybe half a month. Yeah. yeah we anyway, can we get back to work? Yes. All right. So you got all the you got the headers. Yeah, got you the got the. Uh, when are they? When are they doing They're the water pool? Come tomorrow and put in the headers. Everything be ready for inspection for Monday. What about the water pool? Are, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Uh, uh, you gonna go overhead or are you gonna go through the slab? I'm going to go overhead. Why are you going overhead? Uh, to me, it's easier. I made it. My brother said you can find you find the leaks a lot faster if there is a leak. There shouldn't be a leak. Well, there shouldn't be if there is. You don't ever find it in the slab till it's too late. So overhead, you find it. You'll find it a lot faster. Might damage <laughs> some sheet rock, but you'll find it yeah. pretty quick. All right. So Lira's going through the slab. I mean uh, overhead. That's fine. Like I said, we can do it either way. Yep, we already got the water line around. It's gonna be coming in right there. So this is the water line over here. We got the water line right there. Where is it going in, Leroy? It's gonna go in right here. But you're not you're gonna use a bigger one, aren't you? Like a like a one inch or three quarter or something? That's a three quarter. The right. real one's a half inch. Yeah, for real, really, for real. So that's all you're gonna use that size? But I'm looking right at it. Where's the water source? The water source is coming from right back there. See that water tank? <laughs> it's right behind it, actually. I'm Chris, I guess. Yeah. Hey, did you lose a, a drill bit for the hammer drill? <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? Man, I tried it like hell. I beat it with the hammer. I was like, it won't break. Nothing. I was like, it won't budge. I got vice grips trying to. It's like, you know what? Just leave it in there. <laughs> they can hurt us. Jesus. Because <laughs> we were going through drill bits, we kept, so we were, we were using a smaller one, we would drill in it in with the bigger one. Why so were you doing that? Them. You know it's not metal. Why don't you just use the bigger one? Because it was, it was uh, burning, it was making the drills get hot, the bigger one. So I thought making, like, you know, just like you do regular drill bit, make a smaller hole and going with the, you know, bigger one. Yeah. After it. But the second one we did, twisted it like that. Yeah, that's, that's why. So, so after that, we didn't do it. Yeah, what um, well, I took it out. Do you Did need you? it? Yeah, do you need it? <laughs> I don't need it no more. Oh, what are you gonna plug it in the hole up with now? <laughs> no, I just I, I saw it and I grabbed it and I pulled it out. Oh, whatever, what? So. <laughs> no, you did not. Right, Manny? You don't have to agree with them. You know, he didn't do it. <laughs> Over it. See, you're, we're in the way again. You're good, you're good. You're gonna get it done. Uh, anyway. All right, Leroy. Ah! Watch it, watch it, watch it. Yeah, this is, we're not supposed to be up here. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're over there doing all the, <laughs> all the <laughs> corner bars, all the corner bars, all the, uh, everything. So uh, this is how they do rebar, by the way. See how they, see the bars are 40 feet long, so they just run them wild, run them long and tie it all in and then they come with that quickie saw like he's got over here come over here and then they just cut it off and look at look at see one two three four i almost have five of your trailers here today yeah i'm gonna pick up the other one yeah just <laughs> <laughs> back here i guess i guess barnuminiums is moving yeah so lever has got four of my trailers here one two th why do you have all my trailers here the new we, got, we got our stain trailer Got a dumpster trailer over here. Got a form trailer and another form trailer. And I was bringing another one, but he told me not to. So we have no more room. Yeah, holy crap, Leroy. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's slowly taking over. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's the trailer? It's at the yard. <laughs> Leroy's, or, Leroy's or mine. <laughs> anyway, all right, is that all we got? So we next, got next, next time, next, next time week? Next time we'll be pouring concrete. Wednesday, so Manny's the one scheduling everything concrete wise now so uh, like I said earlier he's on charge of concrete he's gonna be in concrete division all right so Wednesday 5 a.m. 5 a.m. what time is pump dark and early 4 30 4 30 how, how long is the work. pump <laughs> you're right here <laughs> what size pump you get it's 28 meter 28 meter 28 meter is that gonna be long enough we always got room for more. We always got room for more. <laughs> yeah, so 28 meters plenty. 
we're just gonna park the trailer or not the trailer but the pump right here uh -huh. and then we can reach the whole deal so yeah we got plenty of room we'll see you wednesday morning we are texas barn dominiums Ah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>